Good morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Tuesday, September 25th, 2012. Later this morning, President Obama will be addressing the UN General Assembly. Advanced copies of his speech indicate he is going to warn Iran very strictly that the United States will never permit it to obtain nuclear weapons. We'll see if this will be enough to uh, restrain Prime Minister Netanyahu of Israel. In Syria today, events have taken a turn similar to that that attacked uh, and killed President Assad's brother-in-law, the defense chief, earlier this summer. Rebels have planted and exploded bombs in a school used by uh, sons and daughters of military elite. Uh, it's been no word whether or not anybody has been killed, although a number of people have been wounded. Ambulances have been reported to be racing to the scene. The school is in the southeastern district of Damascus. Also, it seems that Israel is reporting that uh, mortars have landed in the Golan Heights. Uh, it's not known, uh, it's, it's known that they've come from Syria, but it's not known whether they were inadvertent or not. Um, well, there's a new Category 5 typhoon, a big one, the second one of the year. This is Jellawat. It's now classified as a super typhoon. It's a Category 5. It's got 160 mile per hour winds. Uh, the only other typhoon that made Category 5 this year was Sanba that had 175 mile per hour winds. It's expected that Jellawat is going to hit the Philippines possibly on Thursday morning and then Taiwan on Friday. Speaking of Taiwan, Japanese Coast Guard officials have tried to turn away dozens of Taiwanese fishing boats uh, near that chain of disputed islands. So now there's a third entrant into the dispute, China, Japan, and now Taiwan. The Taiwanese fleet, which included fishing boats and armed Taiwanese Coast Guard vessels, entered the disputed waters earlier today. The Japanese turned them back with water cannon. Apparently, uh, the Japanese were not so much concerned with the fact that the fishing vessels were there, but what really got them unnerved is that they were accompanied by uh, 10 Taiwanese Coast Guard cutters. Meanwhile, of course, earlier today, the Chinese uh, Vice Foreign Minister blasted the Japanese, saying that they need to strictly look into themselves and determine whether or not fighting for the Senkaku Islands is worth it to them. American agriculture based out in uh, Illinois and Chicago is going to dismantle the complex reinsurance agreement that it's used for many years to cede hundreds of millions of dollars of catastrophe premiums from its multiple Farm Bureau insureds into the international market. American Ag is composed of about uh, two dozen state Farm Bureau insured companies that collectively then they purchase reinsurance on the international market for them. However, Insurance Insider revealed yesterday that instead of asking Guy Carpenter and Towers Watson to place the Farm Bureau retro cover as a whole, the reinsurance brokers were instructed to place separate CAT programs for each of the individual Farm Bureau. According to sources, it emerged that the second biggest of the Farm Bureau purchasers, the state of Oklahoma, which bought $120 million worth of premiums to American Ag in 2011, has decided to stand alone and is going to purchase cover direct via Willis Re. This move has the potential to dramatically change the way crop insurance is sold in the U.S. and it's going to give reinsurers the ability to choose the reinsureds that they want, i.e. the states that haven't had big droughts, and to better tailor terms. And I suspect it's not going to end well for the individual farm bureaus. Discover Financial Services, one of the nation's largest credit card issuers, is going to refund $200 million to 3.5 million customers. They led them into purchasing costly and unneeded credit card protection. Federal regulators announced this last night. In some cases, customers were enrolled in the payment protection plans and other products without their consent. Uh, evidence was produced that uh, indicated that Discover had provided scripts to call center agents that suggested customers would not be charged until they had reviewed written materials. Yet those materials were not provided until after the firm took the money from the consumers. This is not the first time something like this has happened. In July, Capital One Bank had to pay $210 million for selling unnecessary credit card services as well. Well, the Foxconn factory is back up and operating in Shenyang, China. We had reported yesterday that apparently a dispute had broken out because a uh, guard had mistreated a worker. Now the uh, labor activist group that's uh, set up in Taiyong City that monitors uh, things at the plant on behalf of the workers 
said that the reason that the, the dispute began in the first place is a crush of overproduction relating to the Apple iPhone 5. According to these people, the rollout of the iPhone 5 has led to longer working hours and more pressure on these workers. The 5 dis de debuted, debuted last week in the U.S. and eight other countries. Apple has about a four-week backlog on orders. Um, according to uh, the labor activists, the need to ramp up iPhone production has increased pressure on Foxconn employees. Two factory explosions, one in Memphis yesterday uh, at a chemical plant owned by the Penachem company, uh, sent several workers with critical injuries to the hospital. And also in Brisbane, Australia, at an asphalt plant owned by Boral in a suburb of Brisbane called Narangba, a uh, blaze exploded, a blaze occurred when a, uh, a bit bitumen truck exploded near the plant and then subsequently exploded other parts of the plant. A, a man who lives across the street said there's been little small fires and accidents in that factory over the years, but this was a big one. It sounded like an earthquake kind of thing. Given an indication as to what kind of area it is, the police warned motorists to avoid an adjoining street called Potassium Street. And yesterday, Boeing announced that it's going to be delivering its first 787 Dreamliner to United Airlines later this week. United is going to uh, use the plane initially on domestic flights and then roll it out to international flights and begin to fly it on routes to Africa, Asia, and Europe. United is uh, expecting to take delivery of 49 more Dreamliners that are on order. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching.